Uh, first of all, uh, please introduce yourself, George. Um, my name is uh, George Kotaka. I'm 33 years old, and I've been taking karate since I was three years old. Uh, back in the day, your father was my sensei at IKF in Kahala. Uh, is this where your interest in karate first came from? Yeah, my interest in karate uh, began, uh, like I said, when I was three years old. And my father actually didn't really um, force me to take karate. He was just bringing me by the dojo and kind of like just like anything else, you know, when you're introduced to it uh, so often, after a while you just have to pick it up and then um, I just was really uh, kind of just drawn to karate, um, not, never forced to start it. Uh, as the sensei's son, did you feel any extra pressure to be better and perform well because your dad was a sensei? Uh, being the sensei's son, uh, I really didn't feel any pressure at all. Uh, always just went to uh, practice, worked really hard, um, always had goals in mind uh, that I wanted to achieve uh, since I was young. And uh, just, you know, just like short-term goals in the beginning and then later on fulfilling my long-term goals, but never had the pressure uh, because I always just knew that if I just relied on my training and on my skill, uh, you know, good things would come about. Uh, Lyoto Machida of the UFC, he became the light heavyweight champion uh, a while ago and probably burst karate into the mainstream. Uh, did you kind of feel that karate Lyoto effect in your studios, in the dojos? I would say uh, there was a little bit of effect from the, um, the UFC fight where Lyoto won the, the UFC title. Um, you saw a little bit of an influx of uh, students um, inquiring about karate, interested in uh, martial arts. And especially the traditional martial arts. He comes from a, a traditional Japanese background. His style is called Shoto Okan. Um, and it's a very, very um, popular, I would say, one of the four major styles of karate in Japan. So I would say there was a little bit of an influx of students when that happened. Uh, so what inspired you to take the next step and become an instructor? Um, I have always was uh, intrigued and uh, motivated to be an instructor, to, te uh, to be a teacher. Uh, Ever since I was about 14 or 15 years old, I began um, helping my sister out at one of the local uh, karate classes and being kind of like a junior assistant or junior leader. And that really, um, from since that time on, I was really uh, just drawn to teaching. I always liked working with other people. So you know, even after the competition aspect, I could always rely on going back to teaching and uh, falling back to, to that background. Yes. You mentioned your competition background, you're, you're pretty much a karate legend here and around the country. Um, what do you have in store going forward? Uh, most importantly right now is uh, after retiring from competition in 2008, is just to really work on my students and uh, giving back to the dojo and uh, going back to that teaching. Uh, and whether it's uh, producing the next state champion, national champion, uh, Pan American champion or even a world champion. Um, that would be just be great, you know. I'm just gonna. I just want to just produce uh, quality students. Uh, most importantly, you know, uh, they don't have to be champions. If that that that, uh, that comes along, that'd be great. But uh, overall, I just want my students to be um, good manners students, have good morals and ethics, and really go by the karate way. Yes. Cool. Thank you very much. Thanks.